In this lesson, we're going to take a look at consumer and producer surplus for the perfectly competitive market and for the monopoly. The area in red represents consumer surplus and the area in blue represents producer surplus. As you can see, consumer surplus is much larger for the perfectly competitive firm compared to the monopoly. And it's because the perfectly competitive firm is producing at what we call allocative efficiency. This is where a price and quantity meet. This is our equilibrium point. We also call this the socially optimal level. Now, the marginal cost curve represents the firm's supply curve. And if the monopoly was producing where demand equals marginal cost, this would be referred to as allocative efficiency and producing at the socially optimal level. Prices would be lower compared to what we see for the perfectly competitive market and quantity would be much larger. And because the monopoly chooses to keep their prices high and produce a low quantity, producer surplus in blue is going to be much larger for the monopoly in relationship to the perfectly competitive firm. Now monopolies are considered inefficient, especially monopoly that is choosing to keep their prices high because they are not producing where demand equals marginal cost, which once again represents the socially optimal level. So we have deadweight loss. So the area that is shaded in green represents the inefficiency of a monopoly, the deadweight loss.